gehen aber auch direkt in das nächste rein. Thinking Basketball. Is there any way to stop Jokic and Murray NBA Finals Game? Wo ist mein Handy? Ich lasse schon mal laufen, ich bin gleich wieder da. Playoffs, Denver's two-man game of Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray has been unstoppable. They're averaging 57 points and 17 assists per game together. And in game three in Miami, they showed everyone why they might be the best offensive pairing in the sport today. In game two, Miami made a bunch of adjustments and hit 17 threes to upset Denver. But they never really found an answer for that two-man game. So the Nuggets came out of the gate spamming Murray and Jokic actions. Jimmy Butler's behind this handoff. Kevin Love drops with Jokic, and that gives Murray room to score over a smaller defender. The next time down, they screen for Joker off ball. Bam denies the cut, so he just flows into a pick and roll with Murray. That's a spectacular dribble through the gap and another easy short floater. And again, they're worried about the Jokic roll so Bam doesn't slow down the ball. The next time it's another pick and roll, Bam goes to Murray on this one, so Butler switches to Jokic, and that's mismatch city. Miami doesn't double team, so Joker pounds in a little lefty hook. Ja, das Problem ist bei den beiden, dass sie halt beide sehr krass gefährlich sind, Bruder, und du eigentlich auch überhaupt nicht switchen darfst, weil sobald du switcht, wird entweder Jamal Murray den Center exposen oder Jokic den kleineren einfach in der Zone wegdrücken. So, we've seen Bam take away Jokic's role and Butler late switch to Joker. So, instead of passing to the post here, Murray uses Jokic in a low pick and roll, stares at him so both Heat defenders play the pocket pass, freeing up another short jumper. Now Miami is worried about Murray coming off the screen, and that opens the pass back to Jokic, who sort of bats it to Porter on the cut for a layup. A minute later, <laughs> das war mehr Glück als Jokic, who sort of bats it to Porter on the cut for a layup. Er hat gemerkt, dass er den Ball verliert im ersten Moment und hat ihn dann noch so ein bisschen mit den das Fingern einfach hingetippt. Einfach hingetippt. To Jokic, who sort of da, da hat er den Ball verloren. Bats it to und da, alles klar, da muss ich nur noch dahinter. Porter on the cut for a lay. Ist halt auch schlau. A minute later, Butler takes away the first screen nicely, so Jokic just flips the screen. Again, Jamal hits Joker, and this time he tosses in a 14-footer. On the next possession, it's a handoff. Murray strings out the dribble away from Jokic to create space for him to make this another easy shot. And Schön. these two aren't just a two-headed monster, they're a rock in a hard place. The second you start reacting to one, the other guy makes you pay. This time Jokic's defender wants to Jamal Murray hit a double shot. Briefly double Murray, then recover to Joker, but he can't because Jamal springs free, and that little crease is enough to find another push shot. So, knowing that the defender will briefly slide to him and then recover, Murray strings Bam along here, stops like he's gonna pass it back to Nicola, then explodes to the rim for two. And that is just a pick and roll clinic on manipulating defenders. Mm. The Heat actually tried a ton of different coverages to slow this down. Butler slid way over to help on Murray. They late switch on Jokic so Bam can stay in front of Jamal. And then they instantly double in the post. The cutter loses his balance. So this works out well for Miami, except by now the blue arrow is loose. And Murray's <laughs> movement means that the pick and roll and handoff actions are both so deadly. On this one, Butler was slow to react again, and he's thinking switch, so he slides inside Jokic, but that's too much space for Murray. They even tried trapping the ball on these actions, and bam! <coughs> Man muss dazu sagen, Miami verteidigt das wirklich auch eigentlich sehr, sehr gut, Bruder. Aber es sind dann so minimale Momente, die nicht reichen oder die halt der Offense reichen, um in dem Moment dann zu punkten. Size made it tricky to easily hit Jokic, although that left Bruce Brown wide open for a good look. But Miami actually had a few stops off this trap. First, because Adebayo's size bothers Murray just enough to make long passes difficult. And second, because right after they trap the ball, they immediately pick up Jokic, then shift the defenders around behind the play to avoid any advantage. 
And this is the exact same technique we talked about earlier in the season that's become so popular, with the Nuggets themselves using this full rotation after sending a double team. So Denver has seen this before, which means when Murray's trapped here, he doesn't instantly look to Jokic, but reads the back line. It's a beautiful pass to a cutter and a three-point play. Mm. This was part of a big 11-point second half from rookie Christian Brown, aggressively cutting and attacking in transition to provide a bench spark. Against the Heat's small lineup here, Aaron Gordon goes back to bully ball. That draws a double team. Butler gambles on the pass, and Brown cuts perfectly for a beautiful pass and finish. This time Miami's in the zone, but Brown just attacks off the dribble and sets up Jokic for another short rainbow. And his aggression just sparked them throughout the night, finishing seven of eight from the floor. And he was especially big on defense, jumping in front of this Butler pass and taking it to the house for a touchdown. And he's big enough to guard Jimmy in isolation and make some of these shots really difficult for him. Butler made that one, but later in the game he tried to post up Brown, and Christian's strong enough and long enough to completely shut down that possession, and it's a stop. I actually thought his off-ball defense was even bigger, chasing shooters around screens, briefly switching onto the ball here, before sealing inside Adebayo nicely, then turning and sliding into help position to stonewall the drive. Here's another one where he chases the sharp Bruder, achte mal auf den Coach da hinten, Bruder. Er spielt einfach die ganze Zeit mit. Die sharp shooting Duncan Robinson into the corner, then immediately stays with him on the relocation, and Jokic ends up helping for the block on a great trip. This Nuggets defense was just better all night. Instead of soft switching, they were fighting through screens and then communicating clearly when a switch was needed. Murray picks up Butler here, keeps him in front of him, and then completely shuts off his drive, then switches perfectly with Michael Porter Jr. And with limited clock, Jamal digs down to bother Jimmy, and MPJ's length makes it a hard shot. Remember, Denver had issues closing out to shooters in Game 2, but in Game 3, they were generally crisper running to the line, negating any Miami advantages that way. In Game 2, we saw this corner screen for Duncan Robinson cause all kinds of problems for the Nuggets defense. But in Game 3, Brown trails him around the pick well, calls the switch clearly, it's another clean closeout in the corner, and and then Gordon almost blocks the Robinson three-point attempt. Here's the same play with Murray defending it. He jams the cutter so he can't use the screen. Then Porter plays the ball well as Jamal chases his man, and Jokic is in good position in the paint. Denver also had a ton of miscommunications in game two on picks where the screener slipped out to the corner for a three. Here's that same action with a wrinkle, where Miami brings the screener from the corner to create confusion, hoping to slip out before the switch. But Denver's not soft switching, Murray fights his way around the screen, and Jokic is up playing the pocket pass, which throws that off just enough and turns it into a harmless 17-footer. In game two, Miami was able to use Jokic's cushion and pocket pass to Bam so he could spring free on the roll. But Jokic was often a step higher in game three, sitting on that pocket pass with his hands, so you have to make brilliant skip passes to the corner, and that's hard. Here's another one where Jokic is up at the screen, Contavious Caldwell Pope fights around the pick well, Murray's in position to help, Jokic uses his foot so it can't go to Bam in the pocket, and there's no skip pass this time, so it just fizzles out for Miami into another long two. Murray's defense was actually really strong throughout the game, whether he was chasing guards around picks like this or playing in help position, here sliding to rip Butler on his drive for the steal. This was actually one of the best defensive games I've seen from Murray, starting right from the jump with this beautiful play, 
where Jokic switches onto Butler. Then Gordon uses the handoff as a chance to switch back behind the play, but that only works because Murray's staying with Bam, then recovers to his man, and Autobio misses the little reverse. They also try to attack Murray with Butler all night, but Jamal's big enough to slow him down a little. Jimmy still has a few inches and some pounds on him, so we will get to his spots for good looks at times, but this isn't really a big mismatch to me. Murray's staying ja, ich muss aber auch sagen, Jimmy Butler nicht mehr so explosiv, wie er es die letzten paar Spiele war, oder vor allem gegen die Series King Boston. Down on the upfake, and Boston. his size can bother him at the rim. And on a play like this, he spins off the screen nicely, passes him off to Jokic, who protects the goal well. As solid as Joker and Murray were defensively in this game, it's their offensive synergy that has befuddled every single one of their playoff opponents. And they came out in game three, throwing this fastball right away, asking Miami, how are you going to stop it? And despite the heat throwing the kitchen sink at them, nothing really worked. Joker and Jamal ran a pick and roll or a handoff on a whopping 57% of all possessions they were on the floor together, posting a 125 offensive rating in their minutes. And I'm not sure any defense can stop these two right now if they're surrounded by good shooters and quality spacing. Oder There. Jauk ist auch ein ganz komischer Typ, Digga. Ohne Spaß. Es hat sich den Abend auch angefühlt, als egal wie er den Ball zum Korb hochflippt, Digga, dass er immer den Weg da reinfindet. Ich verstehe das nicht mal vor allem. Normalerweise machen viele Leute, dass sie die Handfläche so abklappen, damit der Ball halt bestimmten drei bekommt, einen Back drei, damit er halt nochmal besser reingeht oder eher reingeht. Er nicht, Bruder. Ich habe mal drauf geachtet, er, er macht so so mini, also er, ohne Spaß, so bewegt er die Hand, nicht mehr. So ein klein bisschen drei gibt er da oben drauf. Reicht schon komplett, dass sie jedes Mal reingehen. Each averaging 30 points per game since the start of the Western Conference Finals. And in Game 3, Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray became the first teammates in NBA history to post 30-point triple-doubles in the same game. And that has the Nuggets just two wins Beide? away from their Beide haben ein 30 Punkte Triple Double geschafft. Das ist first NBA championship. To directly support this channel, check out patreon.com/thinkingbasketball. Hey meine Lieben, freut mich wirklich. Das war ein Bombenvideo von Thinking Basketball.